Without question, one of the biggest movie stars of our entire generation is Johnny Depp. However, in recent years, Depp's stability has been called into question. That even led Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling to have to speak publicly in support of Depp when legions of fans became concerned with his involvement in Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Now, a new feature on Depp in Rolling Stone is causing even more concern in the industry. From Variety, the new Rolling Stone profile of the actor compares Depp's current debauched existence to Elvis's last drug-fueled days. It left readers and people in Hollywood alarmed with its portrayal of Depp, a 55-year-old man drinking goblet after goblet of vintage red wine, smoking hash, and, it is heavily implied, partaking in even stronger substances. All while cordoned off in a gated mansion that leaves him cut off from reality. Depp has been widely viewed as a liability. Jeff Bach, a box office analyst with Exhibitor Relations, said the following about Depp's situation. His baggage is a huge concern. Part of the reason studios hire an A-list actor is so they can hit the talk show circuit and travel around the world promoting a film. That just might not be possible now with Johnny Depp. Now, it's fair to say that Johnny Depp has always been a little odd and a bit eccentric, and that's been a part of his appeal, the, the, the mythos, if you will, of Johnny Depp, the mystery of Johnny Depp. It's been that kind of weird aloofness and that kind of oddball side to him. It's part of the reason why he's been so appealing to audiences for so many years. However, obviously things as far as his public perception has begun to change over the last few years, becoming a little bit more eccentric, a little bit more withdrawn, acting a little more strangely. Of course, it all accumulated with that whole situation that went on with him and then wife Amber Heard with the assault allegations and things like that, promote, prompting J.K. Rowling to come out and defend the casting of him in their movie, something that the producers do not want to have to do and yet they felt the need to do that. This Rolling Stone article now that's come out is not helping the situation at all. It's painting the picture of a man who quite frankly appears to be a bit broken. The big concern as a human being is if there's something actually really wrong with Johnny Depp and the way he's conducting his life, I hope he just gets the help he needs. But as far as the industry go, and just looking at this for a moment from a movie fan's perspective and from an industry perspective, one has to begin to ask the question, at 55, at acting the way he seems to be acting, at his image being what it is amongst the public right now, are studios going to want to continue to work with him? Now, he's got a couple of films coming out right now, but you have to wonder, how much are they actually going to feature Johnny Depp, understanding all the turmoil they've had with their own fans in Fantastic Beats, uh, Beasts? How much are they going to use him in the marketing? My guess is not much at all. And even historically, like the one guy was saying in the article, he doesn't like to do a lot of press. And one of the things you want from your movie stars is to go out and do press, to promote the films. That's something Johnny Depp hasn't done a lot of in the past, but he's never been a liability. Is he a liability now? Instead of being able to, like if you're the producers of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and The Crimes of Grindelwald, you want to be able to highlight that Johnny Depp's in this film. But now is Warner Brothers in a position that maybe they feel they need to hide the fact a little bit and downplay Johnny Depp's role in the film. Who knows? But that's not a position you want to be in if you're a film studio.